Flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Ahi. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly shall flow rivers. Rivers of living waters, we are here. My belly shall flow rivers, the rivers of living waters, we are here. Can we worship the Lord now? Iminitasiatis. Baraka kote so kode halina. Barana bada baba bani ate kosi belolo visita rada sade no sos. Master. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. I got a bala baba out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Out of my belly shall flow rivers. Rivers of living waters, Bada 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 bada. My belly shall flow. Rivers, rivers of living waters, Ah. Satabe kare tasula mena la 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 Thank you, Father. Dadamini karosis. La 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 Can we worship the Lord? La 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 Amanana na manaya na makuku ko Usi kabakuri ese Rivers of living waters Rivers of living waters, let your river flow, Jesus. 
River of the Spirit to flow. Shall flow rivers. Rivers of living waters. Yeah, yeah. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living waters. Yeah, yeah. Let your river flow, let your river flow right now. Yes, it brings everything up to life. Yes, yes, let it flow in God flow, pardon us, Spirit of God flow. Everything bad to life flow, Spirit of God. Flow, Spirit of God. Let it flow, let it flow. Let the river flow. Let the river of the spirit flow. Let the river flow. The river flow. Sakabara kado si para kariado se se bale na 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 si Let the river flow. Let it flow. Let it flow right now. Ooh. 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 Let the river flow. Let it flow right now. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let it flow right now. Let it flow, bringing everything dead to life. Let it flow in our homes. Let it flow in our lives. Oh, let it flow. I 
Let it flow right now. Let the river flow, let the river flow right now. The river of your spirit, dear Lord, let it flow. Somebody go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. That the river of the living waters of God will flow. The river of God, the river of the spirit will flow in us, bringing everything dead back to life. Bringing everything dead back to life. Saka daba kurusu suku minit. Bada baba shaka daba kuria shite na the messes. Somebody pray. Bada na kuku teke te. Somebody na kado soso le be carry a rasa da yara sa. We worship you, Holy Spirit. Bring everything back to life. Yes, yes. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Flow in our midst. Let it flow. Let your river flow, Lord. Let it flow in my soul. Let it flow around me. Let it flow in my home, let it flow, let it flow in my marriage, Lord, let it flow in the life of my children, Lord, let it flow in the restoration house, let it flow. Let the river flow. Play for me, son. Let it in my soul, let it flow, the river of God. Let the river flow. Let it bring everything dead to life. Let it flow in my soul. Let it flow. I feel the spirit of God. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow now. Let it flow in the nations. Let it flow. Let it flow in homes. Let it flow. Let your river flow. Let your river flow. Let it bring everything dead to life. Life giving river. Let it flow, let it flow right now. Can you ask the river of God to flow in your direction? This river brings everything dead to life. Everything that is dying comes alive. Can you pray that this river will flow in your direction? Flow in the ministry. Flow, flow everywhere. Let the river flow, let the river flow, let the river flow, let it flow right now. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Father, for your river would flow. Your river will bring everything that is dying, everything that needs quickening, everything that needs reviving. Let it flow into nations. Let it flow into homes. Let it flow into churches. Let it flow, oh God. 
let it bring back to life everything that is dying let it bring back to life oh god let it flow into marriages let it flow into the bodies of people let your river flow restoring health restoring life let your river flow into the businesses of people now let your river flow let it flow now bringing back to life my father let it flow in the direction of the investments of men let it flow upon the lands of many he cut up a soccer barosa at the sound of my voice right now let your river flow bringing everything that is dead bringing it back to life the river of the spirit now it flows now it flows it flows in your direction it flows now let the river flow in your body let the river flow in your home let the river flow over your finances and your income let it flow upon your career let the river begin to bring everything that is dying everything that is dead come alive now by the river of god let this river flow the river of the spirit now 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 it begins to flow in your direction now 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 it begins to bring it to life every dead thing every thing that is dying the river flows in your direction it flows now in the name of jesus let the river flow thank you adonai glory to god glory to god most high hallelujah to jesus praise god what a time in god's presence hallelujah wow god be praised god be glorified it's another time in god's presence another time to pray it is our covenant hour of prayer and i welcome every one of you who is joining me today at the altar of prayer thank you for coming and thank you for connecting the Lord be with you, the Lord bless you, and prosper you indeed. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We have journeyed to the 118th hour of prayer. Daily we shall give to the Lord an hour of prayer. And I'm glad you are here today. Take this moment very quickly to invite someone, share this page. Go ahead and broadcast it. Let every soul that need to be here and need to partake and need to be blessed of the grace that is here be blessed. Yes, don't fail to connect to someone right now. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for great testimonies that are coming from this altar of prayer. As we are praying, God is answering and doing great things. Hallelujah. Therefore, Join me today as we pray. Turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 1, verse 13. I would read and set the tone as we begin to pray. Keep playing, please. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let the river flow. Let it bring everything dead to life. Life-giving river. Let it flow. Right now, but the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. The Lord is saying to someone under the sound of my voice this day, Fear not. I don't know what is happening around you now that is generating fear, that is causing your heart to quake. I don't know what that thing is that when you remember it, your heart sinks. I don't know what that thing is that when your mind wanders in that direction, fright comes upon you. Your mind, you just fear. The Lord says to you, fear not. Is it about your career? Is it about your job? Is it about rent? Is it about money matters? 
God says to you, fear not. Hear me, child of God. God have gone ahead of you in this season. Believe it. Believe it. God have dispatched angels, angelic beings to go ahead of you. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not is the word that I hear from the Lord. And the Spirit of God says also to you, fear not. The angel said to Zechariah, fear not for thy prayer is being heard. Your prayer is heard. Hallelujah. For your prayer is heard. Can you hear me once again? Your prayer is heard. You have spoken to God about that matter. You have worried about that matter. You have come to the presence of God with that matter. I hear the Lord say to you, your prayer is heard. Rejoice because your prayer is heard. Hallelujah. And when prayers are heard by God, he answers. Hallelujah. He said to Zechariah, your wife Elizabeth shall give birth to a son for you. For you. Your wife Elizabeth will bring forth a son and his name shall be called John. God have gone ahead of someone under the sound of my voice to bring answers to your prayers, to respond to your heart cry. Even today, as we pray, he will answer. The Bible said that this is the confidence that we have in him. And whenever we pray according to his will, he heareth us. And because we know he has heard us, we also know that he has answered. First John chapter 5 and verse number 14. Can you take a position of prayer right now and ask the Holy Spirit to guide us in the place of prayer? God have heard and God will hear you as you pray now. Thank you, Jesus. Ask the Spirit of God to give you grace to pray. Belebre ve supre kute suke briada hatat. Nelenie et tu kemuso pe fiasika paragos copelinis. Netumbe si pelevreps. Goroko to pelete pe crucoso copelia varas. Igiana nanacube so copeves. Help me pray. A God that answers prayers. He that hears prayers. Ye ketomano so pelede. Ento brono su cupali atakas. Give ear to my cry today. Give ear to our prayer, O God. O Pelede Kumeroso Pretika Yagati Yaga Divadu Makuso Koveleses. My Father, my Father. Give ear to our prayer, we beseech thee. In Kronos Supelede Kepetu Prayo Kosopel Le Peteke Teper Yava Supra Katusa In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let it flow right now. Thank you, Jesus. Let it flow right now. Romans chapter 9 verse 23. And that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. That he might make known, that he might make known the riches of his glory to the vessels of mercy. Child of God, you are a vessel of mercy. To the vessels of mercy which he had aforetime prepared unto glory. You are a vessel of mercy prepared unto glory. And because you are a vessel of mercy prepared unto glory, God will show you mercy. The first prayer you will raise unto God now is, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. The Bible said in Psalm 102 and verse number 13, he said, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her has come. The time of favor is also the time of mercy. The appointed time is also the time of mercy. The time of visitation is also the time of mercy. Because the mercy of God runs ahead of a man to make every other thing happen. The mercy of God runs ahead of a man to bring about divine visitation and divine appointments. Can you lift your voice and ask the Lord, have mercy on me. Let your mercy, as a vessel of mercy, I come before you. 
have mercy on me have mercy on me pray that prayer have mercy on my household have mercy on our ministry have mercy on us oh god have mercy on me my father i pray for mercy somebody please pray we are vessels of mercy and god intends to reveal glory in our lives but for that glory to come mercy must first of all run ahead of us Go ahead and beseech the Lord. Ask the Lord for mercy. Let his mercy speak in my life daily. Let his mercy speak in the life of my wife daily. Let his mercy speak in the life of my children daily. Somebody open your mouth and pray. He said, your prayer is heard. Can you ask the Lord that his mercy, his hands of mercy be stretched out in your direction? His hands of mercy will stretch out in your home and upon your home. His hands of mercy will visit with you in this season. Can you ask the Lord to have mercy on you, my father? You don't only ask for mercy when you have sinned, when you have not met up with God's requirement. No, you ask God for mercy because it is the ministry of mercy that makes every other thing fall in place. Oh yes. He said, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Can we ask the Lord to have mercy? Have mercy on me, my father. Have mercy upon my soul. Have mercy upon the ministry. Have mercy upon my home. Have mercy upon my marriage. Have mercy upon my wife. Have mercy upon my children. Have mercy on my resources. Have mercy, oh God. Let your mercy prevail over my life. Let your mercy prevail over my home. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy speak at each junction of our lives let your mercy let the voice of mercy be heard oh god let mercy i pray for mercy have mercy on me my father have mercy oh god on the church have mercy my father have mercy oh god let mercy speak for us at the gate let mercy speak for us at the throne room let mercy speak into your ears oh god on our behalf let mercy run ahead of us every day let mercy oh god come behind us every day that mercy may follow us everywhere we go my father for we are vessels of mercy therefore let mercy speak for every man let mercy speak for every family under the sound of my voice right now my father i pray for your mercy Akatapara, let the mystery of mercy be revealed to us. Let the mystery of mercy be shown to us, my father. Have mercy on Sylvester. Have mercy on HK Moa. Have mercy on me, my father. Have mercy on your people. Have mercy on my children. We pray for your mercy at this moment. Lord Ayabo Shoko. Yes, let mercy speak, O God. In the morning it shall speak, in the afternoon it shall speak, at night it shall speak, when we lay down it shall speak, when we're on the road it shall speak. Oh Lord, when we are doing the wrong, it will speak my father let mercy speak when we are doing the right it will speak in the name of jesus christ we have prayed amen and amen the bible said have faith in God. Yes, that he that cometh to God must first of all believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. That is in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number six. And we are told in Romans chapter one, verse number 17, see that the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. 
we are also told in Mark chapter 11 and verse 22, he said, have faith in God. Have God's kind of faith. For if you have faith, you would say, and what you say will happen. Hallelujah. We can't do transaction with God without faith. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38, the Bible said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Can you please pray and ask the Lord to cause your faith to grow, my father, to deal with unbelief in our lives. A man prayed in Mark chapter 9. He said to God, help thou my unbelief. Can you ask God to strengthen you and your faith, faith in God, to cause faith to grow in you? Ah, daily your faith in God will rise. Your ability to believe God and to receive will rise. The angel visited with Zechariah. But Zechariah was dumb for a minimum of nine months. It could have been more. But for a minimum of nine months, Zechariah was dumb. Why? Because he did not believe. The angel brought word from God. Gabriel. Yeah, when Zechariah could not believe, Gabriel said to Zechariah, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. And he sent me to bring you this message. Now you will be dumb until this thing becomes reality. Please pray today and say, God, help me that I will not doubt your word. Help me that I will not doubt, kill doubt and unbelief in me. Let faith take root. Let faith take hold of my soul. Let faith possess me. Let the gift of faith be deposited in my life. Open your mouth and ask the Lord. For without faith, it is impossible, impossible to please God. The Bible said that he that doubts is like a water moved by the wind. Yea, tossed to and fro. That such a man cannot receive anything from God. Can you please pray and say, God, strengthen my faith, strengthen my faith. Yea, my faith in your ability, my faith in your strength, my faith in your word. Strengthen me, oh God. Somebody pray, pray and ask God to help your faith to strengthen your faith to cause your faith in him to grow and to be solid my father yeah before you see it your eyes of faith must see it open your mouth and ask the lord my father we in my faith, oh God, take away unbelief and doubt from my heart. Adadaya, adadaga, bakadu palasi etasalt. Zavam benge tu kutes. Zoprelete pakaru pakuriye kete yege de yege de. Lo prodo bokoto boroso to poro malo vayati. Yada da 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 yada da. Rapala da pakadu para da bakariye de bele de bele kete yega de bele de bele de bele. Eno me sofe to bele preye kete kete iga ha. Elu mimi soso in the name of jesus christ we have prayed first john chapter 5 verse 14 the bible said that this is the confidence that we have in him that when we pray according to his will he heareth us and if we know that he hears us we also know that we have received that which we asked of him. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 24b, the Bible said, the desires of the righteous shall be granted. The desires of the righteous shall be granted. Can you bring your heart desire before God today? He said, pray aha, pray aha, latapakata. That was Jesus saying. He said, up till now, you have asked God for nothing. Ask that your joy may be full. 
ask in my name and my father will do for you. The Bible said that they have desire of the righteous shall be granted. Oh yes, Proverbs chapter 10. Ye katapara pasakata. Can you bring your heart desires before God now? Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24b. He says the desires of the righteous shall be granted, shall be granted. Talk to God now about your heart desires. What is that thing you desire of the Lord? Can you ask him now? Can you ask the Lord now? Ask in faith. Ask believing. The Bible said, cast all your cares upon him for he careth for you. Cast your cares upon him for he careth for you. My God. Somebody please pray. What is that your heart desire? My father, can you talk to God about it? What is that thing you are looking forward to, to see come to pass? What is that thing that will cause your joy to be full? Can you ask the Lord now? What is that thing that will cause your joy to be full? Can you ask the Lord now? Child of God, what is that thing that will cause your joy to be full? Ask the Lord now. Ask according to his will. The Bible said he heareth you. Yeah, bring your heart desire. Cast all your cares upon him for he careth for you. The Bible said yeah, in the minute second yeah, our desires differ just like our faces differ. Today, ask the Lord. My father, my father. My father, pour your heart to God now. The Bible said, Yea, be careful for nothing but in all things by prayer and supplication. Make your request known unto God. Philippians 4 6. Can you please ask the Lord? Bring that your heart desire to him now begin to tell God what you desire that thing that will cause your joy to be full that area where you need God to attend that matter that you need his finger to move that mountain Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 it says it's not by mind or by power but by my spirit say the Lord yeah in the book of Zechariah it says who are that mountain to stand before Zerubbabel, thou shall be made plain. Can you ask the Lord to move that mountain, that mountain that have caused your heart to fear, that mountain that have caused your heart to sink, that mountain that have caused anxiety in your heart. Lay it at the feet of the master. Lay it at the feet of the master now. My father, my father, na 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 yata yata yata. I pelete pere teke suku parali e pere duka numo suku polono sonde yete etini kakata yata tata i bresevele pedeke priyaga diosoto. My father, our heart desires will bring before you today. Eno meno soto palada bakuria bere de bere de sante sa. Efele pere de bere diosoto focus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 22, verse number 29. The Bible said, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. The earth hears. That is the truth. O earth, O earth, hear. The earth hears. When you speak to the earth, it hears according to the scriptures. Now you are going to call forth your portion from the earth. Hi, 
abulini sokon to soko loko soko. The Bible said that your line shall fall for you in pleasant places. That is in Psalm 16. I need you to pray. Call forth your portion from the earth. Say to the earth, O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear my voice. O oh, earth, O oh, earth, hear me. The Bible said in the book of Hosea, yes, it should be chapter 1, verse 21. He says, Yea, the heavens, on that day, the heavens will hear the earth. He said, I will hear the heavens, and the heavens will hear the earth, and the earth will hear the corn and oil, and the corn and oil will hear Jezreel. Can you please speak to the earth? Demand for your portion to come to you. Demand for your portion to come to you. The Bible said in Pro in Job chapter 28 and verse number 5, that increase comes from the earth. Yes, every man's portion comes from the earth. Open your mouth and demand your portion from the earth say to the earth delay not my portion my father cut not short my portion my portion shall not be cut short can you please pray my portion shall not be delayed i take hold of my portion yeah my portion of increase my portion that pertained to me can you please pray speak to the earth and demand of the earth to yield to give up your own demand that yours will be your portion yours will come to you in the name of jesus for the earth from the earth cometh bread for all men that is what the bible said in job 28 5 please demand the earth to vomit your own demand speak to the earth and say oh earth oh earth speak to your earth in the name of jesus let my portion come let my own not be delayed in the name of jesus let my bread flow Oh, para. Let it be an overflowing measure. Oh, et, oh, et. De te te parasa. Speak to the earth where thou dwellest. Speak to that geographic location and to Sanama Kataya. Because every man's allocation is in his location. Open your mouth and demand that your allocation will come to you in Katapara without delay, without being reduced. In the name of Jesus. Saka lefia pere de bekuria da sata yana badia penete e piaro lo suka da da kati yaga di bakuria de gede gede bede bede ila briaga da gadi yaga da bada ba yaga di yata my father oh et oh et te 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 yata ta ma sata yaka ti asaya open up unto me in the name of Jesus my father kanto pele de kete speak to that territory where thou art yada mini sasan dem to saka begin to demand your portion now speak to the et yala bini you shall not bring to me tongues and titles i take hold of my portion yea there shall not be delays neither shall my portion be reduced in the name of jesus the portion of my wife the portion of my children no man shall deny oh earth you will not deny us yea let the heavens open over our head in the name of Jesus a hundredfold oh God our efforts will yield results in the name of Jesus my father oh swallow not up that which pertains to us yea for me for us everything that is ours yea we take hold of our portion Sokoto, O et O et Adalie para Santante Tata Sata Pata Payakati Yakata Lebe do Fesura Mina Kuku Peteka Petea Dura Lopio Sufani Atasa. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Adonai. Please take two seconds and share this page right now. Share it now like drop a comment share this page share with your friends now thank you jesus two seconds i give you praise i give you praise thank you lord the bible said in ecclesiastes chapter 10 
Luke and verse 10 C. He says, Wisdom, wisdom is profitable to direct. For some days now, I have led us to pray for wisdom. Again and again to pray for wisdom. For wisdom, the Bible said, is the principal thing. Again and again, we have prayed for wisdom. And today, you will pray for wisdom. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 6 and 7. The Bible said, For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Can you demand that wisdom will guide you? That wisdom will guide you. Can you pray that prayer? Ask the Lord, give me wisdom to guide me. In every day decision, in every step of life that I take, in every matter of life and in every matter of destiny, oh God, that wisdom may guide me. Hi, haparate sati kane shoko. Please pray that prayer, that wisdom will guide you. Pray that the Lord will breathe upon you wisdom. Wisdom to navigate the bends of life. Wisdom to navigate and walk through the challenges of living. Open your mouth and pray. Wisdom to manage that difficult situation. Wisdom to manage your life. Wisdom to manage your resources, my father. Wisdom to manage men. And da, 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 da. Wisdom to manage relationships. You need wisdom. Ask the Lord to endure you with wisdom. My father, prokosheke politikas. Wisdom shall guide me daily, O oh God. Wisdom shall guide me. Ataparasa tapalaka parupa kuriya sete penesi of us. Ube sumede teka viele titi sata paranu sope levis. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Psalm 97, verse 11. Thank you, Father. Psalm 97 and verse number 11. The Bible said, thank you, Lord. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Light is sown as a seed for the righteous. I need you to pray for your children. Speak light and life into their lives. Direction and speed, God will grant them. Pray for your children now. Speak into the life of your children now. Let light be sown into them. Let light shine on their path. They will not be confused in life concerning matters of destiny and decisions of destiny. Light will shine on their path. Pray for your children. Speak into their lives. Let the voice of confusion depart. Guide them, O oh God. Let light shine on their path. Your light, my father. My father, possess their hearts and possess their being by your spirit, O oh God. In their choices, O oh God, may you prevail. Keep them and uphold them. Plant their feet on Christ the rock to stay. Tamper their desires, O oh God, and their wants. My father, I pray for them. They they die they say it a shaka. No fropo no supini ya baba baka tu para bakuri esete leti yege. Run a sumini vaka saka. They will shine and their paths will shine. Ati masata makupe katu para varie keru de sosopele. Let your hand upon them be good. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. The Bible said in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20 and 21, the Bible said in a 
big house, there are vessels of honor and vessels unto dishonor, vessels of clay, vessels of wood, and vessels of gold and silver. If any man purge himself of these things, he shall be a vessel unto honor. Can you ask the Lord to purge you and make you a vessel? To purge you and make you a vessel of honor. Can you please pray that prayer? Ask the Lord to purge you. Purge you. Hey. Purge us, O oh God. Purge me true and true. Purge me, O oh Lord, that I will become a vessel of honor indeed a vessel of honor indeed my father my father yeah punch me true and true in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 9. The Bible said that even the king profits from the earth. The earth profits the king. Ah, my father. Even the earth profits the king. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 9. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. And it reads, Thank you, Lord. Yes, that even the king profits from the earth. Hallelujah to Jesus. I give you praise. Zakaparolo pokorobo se te pana da bakuria de bere supe to barana masuntele de bere de keti ara da basaya ye etemene be sento fakula badoso koporia saya blessed be the name of the lord thank you lord yes if we read from verse 9 of ecclesiastics the bible said whosoever removeth stones shall be hurt therewith and he that cleaveth uh, cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby if the iron is blunt and he that is with the edge, then must he put more strength, but wisdom is profitable to direct. That's chapter 10, verse 10. Hallelujah. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. The king also is profited from the earth. Can you please ask the Lord that your profiting may appear, that the earth will yield you its profit again and again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. P please pray. Ask the Lord to breathe upon you and breathe upon your head. Ye nanono so se fia bahat. Zigakula kumaro so kopeli atande prenesia seke proka subladasat. My father, my father, let my profiting come forth. Let my profiting come from the earth. In the name of Jesus. Yando shete malaba kupa raba kuria perene sita pekete fesuta paradado so kolove sena ya taine e predeke tupa my father man kolodo poroso te ei adene tatatatana itasaita engotiko tiko masule pereke tuba shante fra la bakuria brene sete ye de my god ye adapatina sati kolomo sofra ya ye linigaga da 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 barapa tupa tu koporopu sete fekete ya let my prophet in appear my father your prophet in the Bible says shall appear to many. Yea, yadanama nama sata panama kuriada. Lovo rosotome seita atika paruso le beneva. Edi kaka tu paso fretenas, my God. I beseech you, my father. Ene ketu paralo sote priyagadata. Eni atene super lovo. Zumbra katu male de briaga no go no bokorio koporo no bokoria gadagada yakata kapatama na saya na banavasia tekete. Oh Lord, let my prophet in appear. Tekene mana makuria basaka tia dadasa. Elene me kupara. Puka tu pare vesetu pele nekos. Eti nagaduba kumano koporoko polo. Kopuriege lege nege diya gada gada bakuria. Lede beke teke pe yege nege bakuria gada gada bada ba yege de. Ete pele beke tia gabara na bakuna sa. Please somebody pray. The man that the earth, yea, yataba sante fasaya. Your profiting will come forth in the name of Jesus. Yeketemene mesuta pakala daba kuria balada 
Bakaria Kalaba Kuria Gadagada Badia Kadada Etetetete. Please pray. Edromo Sondo Pekemeka Igadagadia Gadagadagadabasa. Epele de Bria Gadagadabadio Coporono Sofe. My father, my father. Enteneti Titi. I comfort. Yes, Sata Tata Yata Parasata. Yes, my prophet in appearing. Ilene Mesico Poro Sula Prakatia Barabala Sinto Penevese. Edo do 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 bele da be ya gada gadi ya gada gada etropata sana makuria de suletent my god de te 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 yarabali poro do basuku parati hi thank you father enuzia takata ya kata e belete praya getina subene jesus jesus i blessed be your name thank you adonai odrotomi sata parabadasu kome levesai Thank you, Jesus. I give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Can we begin to ask the Lord to visit the nations? Visit the nations of the earth. Come on, pray for the nations. Pray that there will be an outbreak of revival in the nations of the earth. Quickly, ask the Lord to visit. To visit with a refiner's fire. To visit with a revival fire. Yea, let the end time revival set in. Let it begin. Yea, let it begin even with me in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask the Lord. Begin to pray that prayer. Let it begin with me, my father. I pray, my God, that your hand will be heavy upon my life. Ikotoso mene pele de kataparaba da basio tefenesa en krono be la da baraba kuti yege de bede be yege de de si foto parane sutelane kaita. Oh Lord, I pray yataneya ati kataba sata e belebre di kotobo sufete mene sandapari toso feledeya. Ye ata ta ta parasata comfort for the end time revival. Begin to pray. Yeah, Joel chapter. 3 and verse number 13, the Bible said, yeah, throw in the sickle. Can we ask the Lord, throw in the sickle for the salvation, for the salvation of the earth. Yatapana sakapa. Throw in the sickle. Ye etepeteke parabakasu paladiadas. Ye da the atana manasa. The end time revival. Let there be a quickening, my father. Let there be a quickening, O oh God. Ye do parabasuku palaki ye keteke of the church of your house. In the name of Jesus, let there be a quickening, my father. In the name of Jesus, my God. Diya parapatasiko pelekete. Ye no sumana da baku parasito pekelede. Begin to pray. Ben to pray ye ke tupala da bakuria de satayata my father call forth the end time revival can we pray for the end time revival and ask the lord now is the time as spoken in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9 now is the time send us revival adadada barapaka sutata send revival in the earth send revival in the church oh god we pray rito so pratasata prine kulu su Visit the earth, visit the earth, visit us, my father. Embolete pe melote mana kupala lu superlevete. Visit us with rain of your spirit, with rain of your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In Psalm seventy-four and verse number twenty, the Bible said that the that the earth is filled with. Let me not paraphrase it. Seventy-four verse. Thank you, Lord. Verse 20. He said, have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. For the dark places of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. Can we begin to shut down satanic portals in the territory where you have found yourself? Can you begin to take over that territory? Demand that satanic portals in the land be shut down. Demand that portals of wickedness, altars of evil, 
be destroyed by the fire of God now begin to pray that the influence of the spirit of God will permeate that territory where thou art take over that territory now in the name of Jesus take over that territory now in the name of Jesus begin to pray La vroma shata mi gombo skope la vakunye bere de kete sekete. Ye, let every alt of cruelty, let every portal that have been opened by evil doers, let it be shut now in the name of Jesus. Let the Spirit of God permeate this environment, permeate everywhere in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Adonai. Begin to come against altars of the enemy altars where sacrifices unto satan are made begin to destroy them by fire let the judgment of god visit such altars in the name of jesus blessed be god receive all the glory receive all the honor thank you adonai for answers to our prayers today in the name of jesus glory to god Give God praise. Give him thanks for answering us today. Give God thanks for answers to prayers. Give God thanks for hearing us. Give him all the glory. What a time of prayer. Give him all the praise. He said, fear not. Your prayers are heard. Thank you, Jesus. Be glorified, my, my, my father. My master, my father. My master, my father. Be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being part of today's prayer. I'll be with you sometime tomorrow. Lord bless you indeed in Jesus' name. Shalom.